everyone, it's Beth Goody from Goody Goods and today's video is going to be packed full of some very special announcements. So first I want to show you guys what I've been working on. Um, if you've been active on my lives, you know I've been working on a lot of things. I've kind of just been going all around um, project to project. I have my scrap blocks in progress for our scrap party on the 23rd and so I need four more yellow blocks and I will be all done with those blocks and I will just have to put them together. I have some postcards that are in the works, some foundation paper piecing postcards that I want to finish up and get sent out to swap members and also I just want to send some as thank you cards to some of you who have sent me packages or you know just encouraged me with your kind words. I really do appreciate it so I'm really looking forward to sending my postcards out very soon. I've also been working on my traveling blocks for the traveling quilt that's been going on over here on YouTube. I've made a total of five. I did the easy peasy ones um, so that's the only way I was able to do more than one. My first block that was sent over from Donna was Barrister block and oh my gosh I was not equipped to, to handle that block. Um, there was a lot going on and as you can tell, I have a lot going on over here. So I needed something um, quick and easy to put together. So I got these super simple blocks all made up. These are really, really pretty green scraps from a recent project that I'm about to show you. I love these greens. They're so, so pretty. So these will be going into the mail this weekend on the way to Donna. I've already sent one over, um, but I made some extra in case she needed more for her third quilt. So great job, Donna, and everyone else who's been working on this and coordinating this. I am very, very proud to be part of this team of amazing quilters who are um, coming together to make some charity quilts. I think that's really cool, and I believe Donna said she's going to be doing this every year, so I'm really looking forward to next year as well. I also have a big announcement. You saw me working on this on my lives recently, but I made my first foundation paper piecing pattern. Um, it's been tested by a few of you. Donna, Christine, and Sylvia have all tested this, and I am so proud. It's Clifford the Big Red Dog. It's Addington's favorite ever, ever since he was a little baby. So I've had this pattern sitting in a box for months. I took a class a while ago and drafted this pattern up, and just recently, I was like, you know what? He deserves to come out of the box. Who let the dogs out? Who? I did. <laughs> he's all finished up. He's tested and he's ready to go. I think I'm going to turn him into a little pillow for Addington's room. He's really excited. He's seen this every time he comes down to the basement. He's like, is that Clifford? Is that for me? So soon I will have him all put together in a pillow for his room. The next project I'm going to show you is a special gift that I will be sending out this weekend. Um, I made this wall hanging for a very special person that I met in Florida when my mom was sick. He worked at the hospital and he let us sit inside in the air conditioning in the chapel for a few days, which was amazing, especially since I wasn't that nice to him the first day. I was like an emotional wreck and wasn't thinking clearly, but um, he really took care of us, um, me, my grandmother, and my dad while we were out there. So I learned that he's Irish, so I thought that making him this four-leaf clover would be perfect. Um, and I did some free motion quilting on my cutie. Um, so I did this live. You guys probably saw this. So I did some pebbling in the background and then I did a bunch of swirls in the clover part. Angela Walters has been inspiring me lately with her free motion quilting series. If you have not watched that, go give it a gander because um, it's full of amazing information and tips and tricks and she even has free handouts that you can print out and um, you use in your sewing room. So here's what the back looks like. I think the back looks even cooler than the front because you can see all of those um, beautiful lines. My pebbles are a little rough, but you know what? I'm really proud of this for my first time tackling free motion quilting, um, something more intricate than a meander. I'm really proud of this. So I am hoping that our friend down in Florida really likes it. It's gonna be a complete surprise and I cannot wait to hear what he thinks about it. Like I said, I've been preparing all of my scrap blocks for our scrap party on the 23rd. So here are all of my blocks. I have four yellow ones left and then I have all my colors complete. And then I might piece some of them together before we go live. 
Um, I don't know. We'll see what we have time for because I have a ton of things that I need to get done um, and I need to get started still. So I might be piecing it together on the live. Another fun announcement. Oh my gosh, I feel like this video, like I said, is just full of things. So here is another block that I designed in EQ8. I'm so excited to be joining Sean on his channel um, tomorrow morning with Courtney. We are going to be teaching him some FPP. I've seen him already do this block. I've sent it over um, a few days ago and he's already tackled it. So I have no doubt that he's going to do an amazing job tomorrow. So this is um, the back of it. It's very basic, very beginner friendly. I'll put a picture right about here of like the mock-up of what a quilt would look like with 16 of these blocks together. So um, if you're interested in any of my patterns, I will put all of the links down below. Now bear with me, these are my first patterns ever. So um, just give me some grace there, okay? I'm trying, um, I've been wanting to get into pattern writing for a long time, especially for FPP. You know I love FPP, and so um, I'm really excited to get my foot in the door finally, and I just hope to continue to grow and improve. But um, yes, so those are all of the projects that I wanted to show you from the past couple weeks of what I've been working on. Um, like I said, if you've been joining in on my lives, you've seen me working on these all, all the time. So um, I think we'll just go right into future announcements. So let's talk about what's coming up. We've got our live tomorrow morning with Sean and Courtney doing some um, FPP. And then on the 12th, we have an interview with Ginger Burr, Stacey Bloomfield. She is my favorite fabric designer. I am uh, really, really nervous. I'm telling you, I don't know how I'm going to make it through next week. I feel like once that week ends, I'm going to have a really like huge sigh of relief because I'm so nervous. Like I just hope I do these upcoming interviews. I hope I do them justice. I hope I show them that I respect their time because not only am I interviewing Ginger Burr next week, like amazing, I will be interviewing Angela Walters the next day on the 13th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm going to be interviewing her in her event studio. So, oh, I'm so excited. I do just want to say thank you so much, Stacy and Angela, if you're watching this video. Thank you for sharing your time and even just messaging me back. It means the world to me. Um, and I'm really, really excited to sit down with you and I hope I don't flub it up too much. But yes, we have two huge Meet the Makers next week. So um, if you have any questions that you want me to add to the list, put them down in the comments and I'll be sure to get them asked when we have our interviews next week. Not only are we doing interviews next week, but on the 14th, so the day after we interview Angela Walters over here, um, we will be going live at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's July 14th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will be doing a live FPP tutorial. I will be sharing the link to the pattern that we will be using. It is a free pattern from Griffin and the Bear. She has really, really adorable patterns. So if you haven't looked her up yet, um, while you're downloading your free pattern, why don't you just give her shop a little browse? She's got a lot of really fun animal patterns. They're gorgeous. Um, just go give her some love. So I'm really looking forward to that. And if you can't make it on the 14th, don't fret. We will be going live again on the 17th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I'm really excited to see all of you. Um, next week is just going to be such a fun week. I hope we can keep the momentum going and um, we can learn some FPP together. We can talk with some quilt celebs together. It's going to be a blast. So that is all I wanted to share with you guys for this week. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend and I will see you very soon. Bye everyone!